So now, it's my pleasure to introduce the chair of the board of trustees of the Recording Academy, the wonderful Miss Tammy Hurt. Thank you, Harvey. And hello, everyone. My God, you look amazing. We are back, live in person and online from Los Angeles. Today, we celebrate all music creators. We celebrate your talent, your creativity, your art, and your contribution to our amazing humanity through music. To this year's Grammy nominees, today, we celebrate you. Congratulations. I am honored to be in your presence. As chair of the Board of Trustees, please hear me loud and clear. This is your Recording Academy. It's our academy. Under this roof and our house, this house, we are united and powered collectively by music. Whether you're selling out stadiums and arenas or playing small clubs to put gas in the van, recording at the biggest and best studios with Grammy award-winning producers and engineers, or recording in small independent studios or on your laptop. I'm here to tell you that today, more than ever, this academy is for all of us. I am a proud queer female rock drummer from the South. I know what it's like to be marginalized and to feel unseen. I know what it's like to have to work twice as hard to break through the barriers. If you've ever been oppressed or felt invisible, this academy is yours too. <laughs> For those of you creating music in every corner of this beautiful planet, our doors are wide open. Just this past year, we invited over 200 new international music creators to join the academy. The response to our new Best Song for Social Change Special Merit Award went viral with over 130,000 submissions. The first of its kind, this award celebrates positive global impact and message-driven music from around the world. Last October, we traveled to the Middle East and connected with music creators there who shared with us that they, they just simply want their music to be heard and recognized. They want to know what it feels like to be fully seen and included. Your Recording Academy is actively building a new world of music on equal terms, where diversity in gender, race, color, ethnicity, and culture is celebrated. Where, yes, yes. Where musicians, performers, and producers are lifted up and recognized for their excellence here in the United States and far beyond our borders. Our new collective approach provides possibilities and opportunities for all. It proposes that music can heal the divides that separate us. And as we're working to bridge these gaps, we have to constantly ask ourselves, what more can we do? What can we stand up for? Well, I have a few ideas. Be intentional about creating pathways to access and inclusivity. Be intentional about supporting one another. Stand up to racism and hate in every form. Bring people together with your influence, with your words and your compassion. It does not matter how you identify, what religion you practice, your race, your gender, your genre, where you live or on which side of the aisle you sit. We are a shared humanity and we have got to take care of each other. Because, you know, when we do that, we can actually make the world a better place. It's my sincere honor to lead this organization. I marvel at your stories of courage, perseverance, and resilience. Please continue to write inspired, authentic music that lives in your heart. Beam it out from your studios and embody it in your performances. My promise to you is, is that your academy will continue inviting music creators and music industry professionals from all corners of the world to a table of connection and belonging. We will continue to further our mission of music education and advocating for music creators. And with your support, 
we can create a mutual understanding between differing cultures through the universal language of music. On behalf of the Recording Academy's Board of Trustees and the vibrant membership of this fine organization, I congratulate and celebrate all of this year's nominees for your outstanding achievements.